It's Cooking with Cuisinart. Great recipes from master chefs. Now, one of America's greatest chefs, Hubert Keller from Fleur de Lis in San Francisco and Las Vegas. The Burger Bar in Las Vegas and St. Louis. And Sleek Steakhouse in St. Louis. And now, today's recipe. I love rice pilaf. It's a great recipe to make some fluffy rice, but the downside of it, it takes 22 minutes to actually cook the rice, and you won't believe it. With that pressure cooker right here, I will do the same result in only three minutes. So let me show you how to do that. First, I open up the pressure cooker, and I set it on high heat. So it's over here. And I will start now chopping my vegetables. So the ingredients is First, I'm having an onion right here. I will cut the onions into a couple of pieces just to transfer the onions into the food processor. Just like that. So let's put it in there. The next one is a celery stack. So again, I will just chop that very coarsely. And I get some beautiful chopped vegetables. The next one, some carrots. So again, just very coarsely chopped. Okay, and I will transfer everything in the food processor, just like that. And I will chop that very coarsely, just with a couple on and offs. It's very simple. That's how it looks like, and that's what we almost would call like a brunoise when you chop little vegetables. So over here, the pressure cooker is hot. Let me put the butter right in here. Okay, and we're just gonna melt now the butter. So now that my butter is uh, searing right over here, I transfer now the vegetables into the pressure cooker, just like that. And you see all these little beautiful vegetables that look like little confettis right over there. So now I'm adding a little bit of salt to it also and keep on stirring it until really my vegetables start on being uh, lightly, lightly cooked and the onions lightly translucent. Okay, my vegetables now are really nice and translucent. Now comes the time to add the rice into it. So the rice, I'm just gonna pour the rice evenly into the pressure cooker. I really wanna stir the rice so that the butter really coats all the kernels of the rice to make it really nice and shiny. And that's the little trick to have the perfect rice pilaf so the rice will not stick to each other on the grains. And you're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful fluffy rice. Now that I'm ready with that, now comes the time I'm adding some uh, sage leaves. That's just for extra flavors. So sage leaves and some either vegetable broth or chicken broth. Okay, I just make sure I clean up the edges of the pressure cooker, stir it nicely. At that stage, I'm just gonna put the lid on it, close it off, and now I'm gonna set the pressure on high. And three minutes. And now when the light stops blinking, that means it's under pressure and it's cooking for three minutes. I just could hear the beep. I will turn off the pressure cooker right here and release the pressure. So just by turning that. And as soon as the pressure is released, I open up and we're gonna fluff up the rice. So that just took less than a minute and now it's ready to open up. So let's open up the pressure cooker. All right, and you can see how beautiful only the smell and the sage you're smelling, and the rice is perfectly cooked. So just by, with the fork, I will actually fluff up the rice. And I'm just ready now to plate the rice. So I'm just gonna take it out just like that. And we'll actually transfer the rice into the bowl. All right. And you see how nice and hot and steamy it is and how you really can smell the sage leaves. So now I'm just gonna add a little bouquet of uh, parsley here on the side. And believe it or not, 
In three minutes, we have the perfect rice pilaf.